Welcome, my beautiful people. Welcome to Harry's Healing Center. Today we want to talk about the rainbow. As a shaman, I often use the colors of the rainbow to heal myself and others. This is where we can connect to the particular colors of a rainbow, because when you visualize a rainbow, the colors are very soft. And those colors, when we draw them into an area of our body that is affected by illness or disease, we can help alter the structures, the energy field around it. This is where, of course, if you can find a rainbow during um, the time of healing and you can actually see it, that is the most powerful way of healing. But that's not possible and uh, for all of us. And you don't always have the time to wait till you see an actual rainbow. So visualizing it and bringing it in as well as you're calling in your angels, spirit guides, gods and goddess energy, unicorns, fairies, whoever you connect with when you do this meditation. It is a simple visualization technique, but very, very effective Try this. Let these colors of the rainbow make a difference to how you feel and whatever illness that you are suffering from. This can certainly help align things. I particularly connect with Archangel Shamuel. Every time the rainbow colors appear during my meditation, I also see Archangel Shamuel. You are to tap into what you see and who you sense around you so that you can connect the rainbow maybe with a deity, with an archangel, with an angel, with whoever you connect this energy with because then the combination of calling upon this energy as well as using the colors of the rainbow, you will make the effect of the healing more powerful. But today they wanted me to tell you about using nature using all elements in nature, but particularly the rainbow. Try this, do this for a week and see what happens to whatever illness or disease you might be affected by. I really hope you're not affected by too much, but if you are, there's a little bit of help here. I am also expanding the fortnightly videos here by introducing a chakra in each group that needs healing and we're going to explore what energy is stuck there and how you can remove it. But for now, we're going to go to our topic. It's all about innovative thinking. How can you awaken your innovative thinking? Here we go. Welcome group number one, innovative thinking, thinking outside the box. Let's see what comes out for group number one here. Okay, there's an opening here for your mind, body, soul to connect to a completely different way of thinking. Lavender is coming out. Maybe this is important to some of you. But this card to me indicates that a completely new way of thinking needs to be brought into your life. So you're going to literally change everything or most things about your way of thinking. So group number one, what is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. You won't believe this, guys. I always love it when the cards really line up like this because this is lemon and it's saying excess innovative 
thinking? Now, look at that. You couldn't have gotten a better card. The second card coming out, and it's talking about refreshing everything. So this, this is big. Let's talk a little bit more about this. What's happening in group number one? So you're going to change your whole way of living here. The first step is to nurture yourself. To be able to change your current way of thinking, you have to look after yourself first. So this group here, you might be the biggest empaths. You might be people who have been used and abused for probably years here and have never took the time out to put yourself first. Well, that's it's time now for you to do that. That's what this card indicates to me. It's all about you igniting that passion and fire within so that now you can help yourself with this and then maybe also by extension help other people including your family and friends. Let's learn a little bit more about what needs to be done in with this way of thinking. Okay. All of you are star seeds connected to your ancestors, to your soul family out there, and they're calling out for you to connect with them. It's improve your vision. So it's an improving of spiritual sight, thinking in a way that would allow your mind to look at the bigger picture rather than the instant solving of a problem or gratification in this life. We need to think about the larger picture. Where do we want to be in a year, in two years? How can we get there? What can we change now that makes baby steps towards our larger goal? Keeping in mind that this way of thinking is based on universal thinking, not not so much the ego mind here. It's and it's done in a way that you wouldn't even expect it. You be you be thinking to yourself now probably, okay, I've got to make plans, I've got to alter things, I've got to do things completely different. Well, not yes, you do, but not really, because what's coming out is that you need time for yourself. Well, this is the second card that has come out indicating rejoice, lighten up, take things easier, don't stress so much about life. When you take a step back, the universe will adjust things. I've recently learned that myself. I'm actually taking a bit of a step back and taking it a bit easier. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, how is this all going to work? And amazingly, it, it is working very, very well. Others have stepped up and so many new things have happened in my life that things have changed. But I was afraid. And I know a lot of you out there are afraid to take that step as well, to leave a job that you don't like, to leave a partner, to leave situations that are not good for you. But our thoughts are always, how are we going to survive? How can we make ends meet? How can we restructure our life when it's not visible to us? And this is where the universe is asking all of us to put more trust out there. Hard to do, really hard to do. I was also freaking out, but I didn't allow myself to go down that negative path. I pulled myself back again, and that's you guys. That's where you come in as well. Pull yourselves back. Have trust because this trust that the universe is asking you to have is going to work out to your benefit. It's going to open your spiritual vision so that you can achieve your goals. But you need to lighten up, relax here, have some fun, because that way you allow your mind to receive messages as to the next step in life. If you're continuously rushing, this isn't going to happen. And so you are 
changing everything because when we slow down that's when everything starts changing from the inside out <laughs> look at this Oh, look at this. Calm your mind. Like, I don't even need the cards because I can feel them talking, but we will use the cards as a little bit of a guidance here. So, calm your mind, body, and soul. Once again, that came out in the beginning. It was the lavender card that laid the foundation for this reading about body, mind, and soul connection. Do we fully understand what that actually? Actually, actually means that if our mind is so preoccupied with certain situations our body is going to react usually negatively and we get ill our soul connection gets severed or we become fragmented because of always giving and giving and never receiving or other situations in your life so that's the foundation for your way of changing the environment around you. It has to come from you. It doesn't have to come from anyone else. If you're thinking, if this person would just change and if I could just heal this person, well, it's something within you that is creating the environment. Really tap into who you are where you want to go, what you want to do, because the calmer the mind, the better the answers here. And we're going to have a look. I thought there was a second one, but there wasn't. So let's go. Let's see what else is there for you guys here. Yes, they're talking about mental clarity. Once again, we got the color purple. Absorb that color. Take it into your third eye into your crown chakra, just into your energy field in general will be very helpful. And mental clarity will lead you into thinking outside that box, will lead you into maybe taking a risk that will pay off. This is where, you, yes, taking a risk that will pay off. Wow, I'll tell you what, this reading today, we're talking about awaken your creativity. That's exactly what I was feeling. You will do something that you might have been afraid of doing. Maybe it's starting a new business. Maybe it's just throwing away most of your things and starting again and setting things up different, becoming a musician, becoming an artist, writing a book, becoming a poet, whatever you're doing. But this will not happen unless your mind is calm. And maybe the people that are stopping this from happening are going to be removed from your life. So this group, there is a lot happening for you. Yes, it's, um, it's about, and this gave me goosebumps as soon as I touched this card, it's to activate your own healing powers. A lot of us, and even I have been asked recently by some of you, to go back to just to pick a card reading so that you can get some information but um, even though fun to do, I have to admit they're fun to do, but the real thing that you want to tap into is your own healing powers. Just by knowing from a pick a card, oh, I should take this direction, is not necessarily your answer here. And it's not necessarily true because you would have picked this particular group or pile because of feeling maybe you were very frustrated, maybe something else has happened, or maybe you've already made up your mind on a situation. And maybe that is when you picked perhaps even a wrong pile. That's why they're saying um, with the groups that you choose, it's a clarity of mind. It's a calmness here that has to come in first to activate your healing power. So if you can learn information on how you can heal yourself. This is free here on YouTube. Take it, 
take it to heart. Work with this healing that is being given to you because this is how you can truly change your life. This is how you can find the answers within. They are so much more powerful when you tap into it. I encourage all of you to learn. You don't have to go and have lengthy periods of study. I mean, you can, but learn these small things like in the introduction, working with the rainbow colors. This is what will make a difference. If you're persistent, you can heal a lot of the things that are affecting you currently. So let's look into this a little bit more, but I can't feel any more cards for this group. Well, you know where we're going to go next. And this is talking to a fairy. I've recently connected to even more fairies and made some offerings to them this morning. So this will be a very powerful message. Let's walk up to this golden door. Let's open this door together and see what the messages are. Well, it is a very powerful message. A lot of you in the future depending on your situation so there's different time frames here but de this depends on you there will be purchases made these are larger purchases somebody is going to buy a home somebody is going to buy a new car and a lot of you will be thinking i don't have the money i don't see this happening i don't know what's going on well this is what is um happening behind the scenes for a lot of you here. This is where your guides are working and we need to trust. Sometimes the most unusual things happen to us when we learn to trust. If we have a goal in mind and we have a certain way that this goal has to present itself, well, guess what? It might, it might not. It may, but it's very unlikely. I've done this many times, trust me, where we feel we have this goal and this is the way it should be. The universe changed it all around and made it even better. When I accepted that's when it becomes even better. So this is what you can do in your life. There are things out there. The fairies are talking about larger purchases. These could be other things as well for you, but they are showing me various different uh, like houses and particularly cars and that a lot of you think this isn't going to happen, but it is, and you will be supported trust and believe this message is from the fairy we're going to thank the fairies here we're going to now close the fairy door and tap into a herb your herb for today is shepherd's purse now shepherd's purse is for healing for spell work for rituals but you always know that I'm given certain instructions as to how to use this. And it's already coming in. I, um, You're going to, obviously, we're going to go to the healing here again. A lot of times we do tap into the healing side of things. So this can be used for when you feel particularly depressed, when you feel down. And especially if you are suffering from depression here, anxiety even. And what they are showing me is that you are to get a bowl of it and you are to sit with this bowl. This is a more serious meditation that you're doing. It's not so much that you be closing your eyes and you're going deep into meditation. It's not like that at all. It's more of an inner feeling, the depth of emotions within they're talking about. We want to bring them out. You are to sit there when you're ready, because this is going to be a big, big release for you. But it's also going to be a little bit more difficult to do, because when you sit with this bowl, you are 
to shed tears, to shed these tears in the bowl on top of the shepherd's purse here. And you are to let emotions come up, thoughts come up, and you are to let them settle in that bowl. Now they're telling me that the bowl should be disposable. You know, you could use a coconut shell here if, if you've got one. And you then, once you have finished meditating, and when you do meditate, please always set up a sacred space. Put some candles around, some crystals, and protect your energy with light. Whatever you do with grounding your energy, protecting it, connecting to your guides, and then later cleansing it is can be very personal. But these things should be done during this ritual, this healing ritual. Once you feel that there are no more tears left, you take the bowl and you give it to Mother Earth. You go and you bury it in the garden. If you're down at the beach, you can bury it there. Wherever you feel then it needs to go here. This is a great release of emotions that we have bottled up. We've sort of put them away. We put them in little boxes and we store them inside ourselves. Well, we want to let that out. We want these emotions outside so we can heal. Our mind can calm and we can start thinking outside the box. Give this a try. Next, we're going to go to our chakra for this group. Your chakra is the solar plexus. This chakra, we're going to travel into the chakra together. Oftentimes, spirit shows me that we carry something inside our chakra system. Any emotions that are trapped, anything that we have placed there, get stored away unless we clear it out. And you can obviously do that through Reiki healing using symbols, but you can also do that when you identify what's sitting there and then visualizing that you're moving this out. And that's what you and I are going to do together. We're going to tap in to a collective energy. I can't do this with you, um, for you personally. Well, well, I could if you came to see me, but in, in this reading, I can only tap into the general collective energy. Let's just focus on that chakra. Here, let's just see, let's just see it spinning in front of us like a portal. And we want to travel inside that. What I see inside this chakra is you feeling trapped. I can feel that inside myself. It's like you're going into this spiral and the reason you're trapped in it is because people have mistreated you. So you went further and further inside yourself, hiding things away, running from people even, and you've created an environment of safety around you, which you'd think, hey, that, that'll be pretty good, you know, I'm safe now. But you've also locked out a lot of good things because you are so afraid. I see that you have your little treasure box in there. This treasure box represents things that are, are valued by you. And you don't want anyone else to, to touch them. Whether these are personal items, whether these are certain feelings we carry, people can't go there. They can't touch that part because you feel that you cannot bear to go um, into a dramatic situation without being hurt. You feel maybe I can't speak out enough. I'm, I'm just not that person. So you've decided to build something around you, and but you're trapped you're feeling it's getting smaller and smaller and that's what's sitting in your chakra. We need to untangle that. The way to untangle it is to slowly 
take out things that you have stored there and this is up to you whether this is um, a feeling or items and present them outside this box take them outside this chakra create a space for them outside yourself that is a very deep practice where you are not storing it all within anymore you're saying it's safe on the outside and i'm placing all this on the outside but yet i am protected you're speaking this protection into reality by saying that yes i can connect with people again if it's people in your case and I am allowing them to come into my space, but only those that are good for my soul. Perhaps that I can help or they can help me. You're setting an intention. If you feel afraid, if you feel worried, you just send anything away that you don't want. If you feel like fear is coming back in, send it away. See it going outside that chakra. Perhaps create a portal of light in front of you and just send it in there. All the fear gets sent from the inside out and then it gets absorbed or suctioned out into the light and destroyed in there it doesn't exist anymore this is really rebuilding this whole group this is about deep deep healing on an emotional level so that you can open up to that clarity of mind something deep inside it needs to come out like the tears that you need to shed this is deep emotional healing which will allow you to open up further now having said that we are then going to go to a symbol that you can use in conjunction with this healing and perhaps draw it into that chakra well your symbol is the serpent of fire the serpent of fire should be visualized they're telling me in front of you you are to see fire coming from the serpent of fire as if the symbol itself is a light it burns and then you place that symbol wherever it needs to go use your intuition draw it into any of your chakras here as well as if you have a particular issue that you are facing draw it into that issue visualize the situation and place it inside the situation if you're not well place it on the part of your body that's not well do this for seven days at least for four minutes visualizing that this is being drawn into this particular area of your life or your body or your emotions here that will help all the things you've learned here today are powerful healers and if you wish and you resonate with this type of healing use them all and change your life completely now we haven't finished here we are still going to go to a past life we're going to tap into this to help you release even more from your past let's check out what this life is all about let's travel there's a door the third key will open that door let's check and see what is happening you've had a life where you were um, bombarded with a lot of stuff illness all sorts of things but you you manage to basically um, get rid of all these negative elements in your life and what's happening is that you were fighting so hard to always send people away and heal yourself and help others even heal them. And you were doing all these things that you forgot, which is in harmony with what we've been reading. You forgot about yourself. You forgot to take out time to just forget about all of that, to put it aside and to have space just for you to breathe to do the things you want to do and at the end of your life you were about 68 here 
and you were exhausted. You were worn out because you hadn't taken the time. When finally, at this age, you felt like, okay, now is the time for me to do things. You only had about four months before you passed away, and you felt really, really sad that in uh, at times you didn't actually need to do so many things and you could have taken more time for yourself and enjoyed your life more and you felt very unfulfilled. Well, you've entered or re-entered into other lifetimes with the same feeling, unresolved feeling. So that's what we want to change here. I would like you to see that you are traveling back in time that you see yourself growing up and when the pressures of life come in I want you to see that you sent them away easier that you also visualize creating a safe space around you working a little bit with protection seeing yourself encased in a bubble of light coming from source energy using the violet fire using anything that you use for energetic protection. Maybe some of you have prayers, affirmations that you want to include, particular energies you work with. That's what you need to see yourself all wrapped up in and then visualize that you will work and you will help others and you will heal yourself, but with plenty of time for yourself to look after you so that you can calm your mind and find answers to life's various issues when they arise. Group number one, it was a pleasure to read for you. I hope you enjoyed the various healing methods that have come in. I can only encourage you to keep healing, to keep moving forwards with your life, because the more you do that, the more you will benefit, your family will benefit, the planet will benefit from the light that is within you shining on to others. All the best, group number one, and lots of love from Australia. Bye. Welcome, group number two, innovative thinking. Thinking outside the box, thinking in a way that will benefit you, maybe unlearning a pattern of thinking that has been established ever since birth, even before birth. Let's have a look. Let's see what's happening with group number two here. Okay, there is a pattern where you're too serious. This card is talking about lighting up or lightening up. Maybe you have to light up to light up your life through your way of thinking. So lighten up here is important for this group. But what does that mean? We want to learn a lot more about you here. This is especially when it comes to relationships, because some of you have been attracting the wrong type of relationship. Now we got to find out from spirit what, what is connected here, or how this is connected to your relationships. Are you too serious in relationships? Let's, let's find out. By the way, we have Archangel Shamuel in this group. I forgot to mention Archangel Shamuel at the beginning because he asked to come in. And an interesting fact about this Archangel is that if you've lost something, let's say you've misplaced your house keys, your car keys, you can ask Archangel Shamuel to help you retrace your steps to find any lost items. Let's go back to your reading. So we're talking about relationships. Lighten up here. It just feels like every time I say that, I feel this heavy burden. And it's the same with this card here. This is all about grounding your energy. And that's part of your journey. So grounding, the practice of grounding is very important for this group 
to be able to have stable relationships. Let me explain what that means. So the card, going back to this card here, um, it's time to lighten up and easing your burdens perhaps. What this indicates is that without being connected to Mother Earth, without feeling a certain stability here on this planet, we become very fear-based. And yes, it is difficult um, to sometimes form this stability. But looking at it from an energetic perspective here, a healing perspective, this is where grounding comes in. I see a lot of clients and they feel very disconnected from their abilities in this life to form good relationships, to establish um, a line of work that um, actually makes you feel good rather than, oh God, I got to go to work today. So this comes back to sometimes a simple practice of grounding, stabilizing yourself here on this planet. The way that you can do this is either through visualization where you see yourself maybe becoming a tree and forming big, deep roots into Mother Earth, or you go out in nature you walk barefoot along a um, beach perhaps if that's available to you. If you are a keen gardener that is also a form of grounding but don't underestimate the um, your ability to use various methods of grounding. It's a consistency of doing this. We can't just do it once and think that's it, I'm now stable here. That's like um, brushing your teeth once and thinking, well, that's it now for the rest of my life. These are going to be shiny and clean. It's that sort of energy where we got to be persistent with it because just like oral cleanliness will lead you to perhaps having your teeth for a very, very long time. You may never have a cavity and congratulations if you don't ever have to go to the dentist and they discover a cavity. Man, that, that is fantastic. But just like you do something in the physical, you also need to do this in the energetic field. So the more you ground yourself, you will find answers to your issues. You will get a better job. You will find relationships are working out. We got to think on a higher level to clear our life. And this is you. Relationships, lighting up, whatever that means to you or lighten up might mean something different to you. But this is the sort of thing that I am feeling here for you. Let's learn a little bit more. Look, the universe and your guides and perhaps Archangel Shamuel here, they want to communicate with you. They want to help you. They want to send you signs. But for us to understand these signs, we need to be aware of them. We need to establish a way of communicating with our guides that will lead us into answers and solutions here. This is about the visions that need to be improved. For example, if I go for a walk and um, I see a feather, I find a coin, or the other day I saw a rainbow, these are all indications that my guides are backing me up. They're saying to me, hey Harry, you're on the right track. If I find, for example, and I don't want to sound uh, very um, creepy here, but let's say I go for a walk and there is um, a dead bird and I know that this is not a good omen here for me. I need to really look at something in my life, something I might need to cut out. These are things that you establish over time and this particular group, you're going to be made aware of this a lot more in the future. Establish a pattern of signs, maybe symbols that you see 
that will indicate to you what's going on because your guides will work with you they will show you things allow yourself to be open to this energy here because you are meant to live a successful life particularly when it comes to relationships of any kind that means being able to separate from narcissistic toxic negative dark energies in your life and establishing a maybe collecting a lot of new energy that will then help you to live a happy life lots of new friends re-establishing maybe old connections with uh, perhaps family whatever it is in your life to help you have a circle of friends that you are very happy with and live a fulfilled life with they're asking you to free yourself from pain so whatever causes you pain we need to sit down and say to ourselves what can we do in order to let this pain go we need to be very honest with ourselves we need to look at solutions from a higher standpoint let's say you have a terrible marriage and you've had this for a few years now and your first thought will be oh well let's go and have a child together because that will fix it well that's going to really um, do the opposite if you're not having a good relationship from the start and this continues to be good if you bring a child into it most likely the stress of um, a new member in the family as happy as this is will lead to perhaps a separation that was already showing you signs there or you already received these signs from perhaps years ago the universe saying look this is it you need to leave you need to find a new partner then establish a family here but if we don't listen to these signs and if we think well i'm going to fix this but i'm going to fix it this way we get ourselves deeper and deeper into a form of living that we don't want ground yourself this is where we come back to grounding don't underestimate this simple practice of grounding it has changed many people's lives they have started feeling a lot more stable and answers started coming to them do this daily do some research on other practices of grounding here and keep at it this is this is very strong for this group here because it also represents and i haven't touched on that area it represents a purification for your body and this goes in harmony with relationships if we carry a heavy energy which I saw around you a heavy way of thinking then we we put that out in, into our energy field well what we will attract then is relationships or our relationships that are very um, negatively based according to our heaviness so if we can lighten up maybe this is where this lightening up comes in and we purify our body through energetic cleansing which grounding is also part of we can see that mother earth really washes us clean our energy field clean then it is natural for good relationships to appear we often ask how how can i get um, my next uh, boyfriend my next partner my next girlfriend my next relationship here how can i get it i want it now don't ever think you want it now because the first thing to do is to look at yourself what is your internal structure and well this reading is about um, innovative thinking thinking outside the box 
that's where your first step should be directed to this box the way of thinking that is restricting you and working on this daily every day getting up with perhaps a positive affirmation and trying to really connect to that doing something that will start the day off with very positive energy however you do this is up to you but it has to be based on light on positiveness just like this card here indicates this is where you will then get to a new relationship this seems to be about relationships i'm trying to feel anything else but it's truly for you it's about relationships that can also be work related relationships with your boss with your co-workers here it is that sort of environment that will be created in the future if you take action towards that look at that look at the yellow so solar plex energy and this one is all <laughs> look at what this one is all about excess innovative thinking so these these are areas that you should be focusing on your solar plexus here which carries the color yellow in it so you are um, very connected to an inner force a determination to achieve that but maybe that determination is weakened through something in your life so doing some kind of meditation on the solar plexus will give you better access to the that determination that you need to have to achieve your goal here one way of doing that is also absorbing the color green into your mind into your body to feel calm when you make a decision never make a decision when you are angry when you are sad allow a day or two if you can to pass and then go back to looking at whatever decision needs to be made here a calm mind will lead to a positive decision because this is also a way then of thinking that we establish in anger that is different to our way of thinking when we are more relaxed and particularly when we're in a joyful state of mind we can make much better decisions and we don't overreact we can save relationships for those who maybe you are quick to fly off the handle you get angry very easily and you make mistakes when you talk to somebody or maybe you yell at them maybe you're very hurtful that's not for all here maybe you experience that from other people and your reaction is perhaps yelling back that's where we need to identify what it is that affects us and perhaps in both situations walk away from the argument breathe allow yourself to calm the mind and then come back to it let's learn a little bit more about group number two how to heal your life how to develop a better way of thinking another way that you can help yourself in this life is to be spontaneous have fun get up in the morning particularly let's say the weekend comes and you have a busy weekend planned of okay i've got to clean up my house i've got to do this i want to do that why not take out one day and think okay i'm just going to cut out some of these chores some i can put off till next weekend i'm going to take out saturday or sunday and i'm just going to have fun i'm going to go take my girlfriends out and we're just going to have fun i'm going to have uh, fun perhaps with my family members whoever you want to have fun with but go and be spontaneous do something crazy that makes your soul lighten up let's let's learn a little bit more i still feel cards for this group we we need to all work on body mind and soul connection here lavender is coming out for you lavender is very calming if you find that you don't sleep well go and have some lav lavender essential oils burning there or 
have lavender in the room if possible. Lavender is calming and can help you align your body, mind and soul and you will feel more connected. I don't actually feel any more cards here for you but we want to now go to a message from the fairies. Let's check this out. If you've been with me for a while, you know that we will enter through a golden door here to get this message. Let's see. Let's knock on this golden door together. Let's open it and see. The fairies have observed that a lot of you have to make decisions that seem very crowded. I'm going to explain what I see here. I just see you with all these issues around you and there's this decision that needs to be made but you can't really make it because every time you think you got it then something else disturbs you and you think all right okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to this this is what the fairies are showing me here and you go off and you fix this thing and then you come back to it and then something else happens and the fairies are saying you need to basically block out these things and this is in alignment with taking out a day to have fun because sometimes when we allow our mind our body our whole energy field to relax that's when we can get to a decision that is right for us and that's what they're saying because you got so much going on externally and internally there needs to be peace quiet and it doesn't mean that you have to send everybody away and say just leave me alone it just means that you find a way to relax first and once you're relaxed you can come back into situations and even multitask but this time it is easier it's not going to produce the same amount of stress that you would have felt before. That's why the fairies want you to take some time out, do whatever you have to do. Uh, maybe you need to go to a spa and just relax. Maybe you just need to lock yourself in your own bathroom there, uh, have a salt bath, have candles burning, have beautiful music playing, whatever. Um, that means for you to relax and connect again. The mind-body-soul connection needs to be re-established. The fairies are saying that they guarantee everyone who does this, you will reach a very good decision. But they're saying to you, don't sway from the decision. Once you have made it, you need to go for it because the fairies here, maybe Archangel Shamuel and your guides, will back you up. You will reach your goal, but it's a determination. It's keeping up practices that, such as grounding that will help you get there step by step. I hope that this was helpful for you. We're going to thank the fairies for this message and offering their help. Maybe you want to work with fairies, ask them to be part of your life, give them some offerings of water, juice, um, any sweet things, cakes, they love sweets. And especially if you have pot plants in your house, go and place the offerings there. They will love you and support you. Now let's look into a herb for you. The herb that came out for you is coriander seeds. Now coriander seeds are all about love, health and healing. So it's very appropriate here for this reading here on um, attracting new people in your life. Let me tap in and ask my guides how you can use coriander seeds in your case here. By all means, go and do some research on rituals, spells, any way that you would like to use them. But I will give you a method here as well. Let me see. Okay, this is maybe a little bit messy, but very effective. 
you are to go and get coriander seeds and you place them in a bowl. You bless them, first of all, infusing them with pink light. You visualize this light flowing through your body, through your hands, through the palms of your hands, and you're holding your hands over the bowl and infuse these coriander seeds with pink light. Then through this light, you are placing love into it. But then you also set the intention, and this needs to be more of a fierce feeling within you, that you want to remove any negative people, situations, anything at all from your space. This could even be at work, which will be a lot more difficult to do when, when I tell you the next step. Because after you have done this, you've infused everything. You can also place the sunlight. So the symbol of the sun, simply draw that over the, the bowl with coriander seeds. Once you have done that, you need to sprinkle them through the place that you want to purify. You leave them there for one hour. You can leave them longer, but it's a minimum of an hour. And then you can vacuum or sweep them up again. But they need to be there. The essence of what you placed in them, as well as their own properties, will help with clearing and purifying. After you have swept them all up or vacuumed them all up, Give this about a week and see if any changes come in. Now, when after a week, if you find that you haven't sensed any changes, repeat this as often as it is needed. You may be dealing with some very, very heavy toxic energy here. This is a helpful practice to bring in new energy and let go of the old. Now we want to go to a chakra of yours that needs work working on. The chakra that was given to me is your universal chakra. Well, we have our crown chakra. Most of us know where that is. Up above our crown chakra, about 12 to 18 inches, is our soul star chakra. Up above that is our spirit chakra. And up above that is our universal chakra. It's um, pure consciousness there. So let's find out. And by all means, do some research yourself here if you want to find out more. But what we are going to do is we're going to tap into this. We're going to um, actually, it's like a portal. I see it like a portal in front of me. And we're going to enter that portal together. Within the portal, there is a structure that you have built up that would represent a blockage. And that's what we want to remove together to help you on your journey to true love, to great relationships, to connections with the divine, as well as to establish a way of thinking that will bring benefits to you. Let's tap into this. The first thing that I see is that your way of being, of thinking needs to be elevated. I can see you in a lot of past lives too, and maybe the past life that we're going to tap in together later will indicate this, but you've always been in a position that puts you lower, a slave's position, and you felt this way. Maybe you've had that in your life where you thought of yourself as a slave. It was better to feel that you are at a lower level and then anything good that happened to you was a, of benefit, was a bonus here, rather than thinking on a more elevated level. That's where you need to get to because your guides have literally tried to pull you out of the mud, but through your way of thinking, you keep going back down there again. Now is your chance. We are here in this universal chakra. We've opened the portal. 
the way that you can help yourself and you can do this in your own meditation by visualizing this portal you're climbing into and you are then connected to the universal chakra and you're going to build yourself up visualize yourself on an elevated platform so that means that you see yourself successful in your life you are not to feel guilty you're not to blame yourself we don't want any negative emotions present we just want to elevate ourselves here spend some time in that feeling when you leave that universal chakra get back out through that portal and send light white or clear light into that chakra blessing that chakra here that's how you can help yourself strengthen a new way of thinking here you can do this way of healing and uh, revisit this chakra as many times as you feel drawn to it all of this will help you change your life let's tap into a symbol here that can be very beneficial for you to use in conjunction with all the healing methods here i know that if you follow this channel and if you take this to heart and apply it in your life that your life just like mine will change dramatically i offer these videos here for free because many people come to me asking what they can do to help themselves or how they can achieve success happiness in love here this is the way it's the simple practices and granted some are a little bit more complicated but if you are consistent with them and that doesn't mean you have to sit for hours doing this you just have to establish a way of um, getting to your own needs as far as your energy field is concerned that will then open up your path so in the morning you might have spent half an hour on this in the evening you might spend half an hour or the middle of the day it depends on when you find the time maybe you only got 10 minutes but it's your consistency that will lead to an a very successful life in this lifetime and also success in future lifetimes your symbol let's tap into that your symbol is shika so this symbol here the way that my spirit guides um, show me how to use it is that you are to place it up above your crown chakra and simply absorb it draw it through all your chakras and if you're not familiar with your chakras they're saying draw it along your spine all the way down and all the way then into mother earth the bottom of the spine it it moves all the way down as deep as you can send it into mother earth because that's also a form of grounding this symbol is here to align you we have different things that we are affected by so by drawing in shika so it is a very very good practice for grounding and alignment if you want to um, strengthen this draw in the symbol chokurei you might know this symbol here and if you're familiar with it place that inside of you through the crown chakra and out through your root chakra or the bottom of your spine and work with that that can intensify the process of energy healing and clear even things that you might have been suffering from let's say you have a cold at the moment this will also help draw things out of you 
This is something that um, has been given to me by my guides. It's a personal message here for you, the way that you can work with it. That would be very powerful for group number two. So now we want to finish with a past life. Let's tap into a past life. And because this is all energy healing, you are always to protect your energy, to connect to your guides, to call them into your space, to ground your energy, and also from time to time to use cleansing methods, whether you have a salt bath or whether you stand in the sunlight to cleanse your energy this is something that will be very very practical and healing for you now let's tap into this past life the the life that i see the door that appears the 11th key will open this door let's walk in here you started off in this life as um, working your way up the ladder, basically, as far as work is concerned, your job. And it was difficult for you. It was really, really hard. But people loved you. When you were working, let's say on the lower levels, you had a very, very good relationship with people. But then you moved up a little bit and you found that the next stage wasn't so friendly. People started being nasty. They were arrogant. And you said to yourself, I will never become like this. I will just keep going. But then you found they were bullying you. They were horrible. So you had to basically find a way to counteract that. And unfortunately, in this life, it wasn't so good because you became just like them. And this continued up, 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 up the ladder you went and the worst your energy field started becoming because that's the only way you could assert yourself, you could get to that position and you started losing the connections you had formed on a lower level. So this then brought in a lot of toxic energies and you really didn't like it. You liked the position but even within the position, you were now very um, dominant and you weren't very nice about it. That's all I want to say. It's, it's uh, they're showing me different scenes where you're just walking through um, an environment and you're yelling at people and telling them off and telling them to sit down and do this. So you became like your environment, you absorb too much of it. We want to change that because this is also related to a way of thinking that didn't really serve you in the long run because now you were attracting relationships that were toxic instead of um, the relationships you experienced before you moved up the ladder. That's not to say that you can't progress in that life, in, in life itself or in your job. It just means there needs to be a different way of thinking and a different approach to reach this state that you want to get to. And that's what you are to visualize. Get back to the time when you were for happy with people around you that appreciated you. This sort of energy needs to be uh, maintained. If there are people that come in that don't fit that pattern, you are to um, stand up for yourself but not alter yourself and move up the ladder with that sort of energy. Stand up, make space for who you are. Don't allow people to push you around, but don't become like them. However you see that is perfectly fine. This is energy healing. This is past life healing. This will change your current life. 
I hope that you um, understood the concept of what has happened to you in a past life and the energy you still carry with you into your current life. And by releasing this from a past life, you will then alter the structure in your current life. Once you have altered the structure of this life, that's when you walk out that door again. You shut the door behind you. You see a blue ray of light washing over that life and you're breathing it into your system. That's when you thank your spiritual team who has been present during this healing. You release them from the healing and you go about your day or night and see what changes come in. You do not have to revisit this past life. Once was enough to release yourself from it. Sometimes we can go and return to past lives, but this particular one, you only need to do it once. Group number two, I send you lots of love and blessings from Australia. Bye. <music>
let's keep talking. This is an interesting group because it features a lot of different issues here. You have health, you have the mind, you have a lot of stress and confusion. And now we have this element of being shy. This might be affecting you or it might just be one of those things that relates to you. Please take away whatever resonates with your situation. But they keep on talking about the body. Rejuvenate your body. So it's got something to do with finding a way to improve our health here. And because the reading is all about innovative thinking, so it has to do with your thought process and in turn with your actions. Because when we think a certain way and we think, okay, I've got to cram everything in to, to today. I can't wait to tomorrow. I can't divide everything up over the next week. I've got to do it today. And then I may be able to relax during the week. But meantime, we've worn ourselves out so much that we would have been better off dividing all these things we need to do up into smaller portions so that the body the mind is also not so stressed in having to accomplish everything right here, right now. And once again, the way to do that is to strengthen your connection with the divine here. Divine intervention is important for this group. You got to allow this. You got to allow divine intervention to make changes. We talked about clear hearing. So you, you guys, you have the ability to really listen and hear spirit in various ways. Maybe it's an internal voice that you need to listen to. Maybe it's literally when you're meditating that you can hear spirit. If you haven't got that ability yet, this could be relating back to a stressful mindset, opening up um, a much more relaxed way of being, thinking outside the box that you've created around yourself is important because this will then lead to a very successful life. Let's, let's find out a little bit more. You haven't awakened your passions yet. There's much more to come here for you guys. Awakening your passions is very important for this group. So a lot more is coming towards you. A lot more opportunities, a lot more creative projects. Perhaps maybe some of you even want to be writing some books and putting them out there or um, rewriting your books that you might have written and just put on the back burner and you just think, nah, I'm not, not doing that. Maybe you're going to dig them back up again and think, no, the information is good. I might just have to alter it slightly. Let's see. Let's see. What else is there for this group? Awakening creativity. We've been talking about that. Awakening creativity will lead you into a more relaxed mindset as well. So whatever it is that you would like to do, anything creative can help you listen to spirit. Yes, you heard right. When we do creative things, we open a part of our brain, a part of a connection that we form to this creativity. That same part is also used when we listen to spirit. The more creative you can be, the better it is for you to be able to open your communication with your guides. So starting a new project here might be something that is very important to think about now. If anything that you need to think about, that is it. Maybe putting some of those non-essential worries aside and starting this creative project. They're saying that you need to protect your energy. This is fundamental for hearing spirit because you want to hear 
correct answers. There are many different types of spirits out there. Some are not so good. Some are entities, negative, dark, toxic spirits. Just like we have people here on this planet that represent that sort of energy as well and we try and get rid of them we try not listen to them it's the same in the spirit world but it's very easy to connect to beings of light because as soon as you protect your energy with light and even the sunlight is a very good cleanser to protect your energy field with that's when negative influences leave you. You need to also set the intention of just inviting in energies that are only linked to light, love, peace, truth, joy, happiness, any of the higher vibrational energies here. So that's important for this group because you are um, moving forwards, you are not meant to be stuck in a, an environment or a life that um, causes you a lot of distress. And you probably have learned a way of living that now you're causing yourself a lot of stress. And this needs to be unlearned. This group here, some of you would also lean towards perfectionism. And if everything isn't done just so, you would find it very difficult to exist. But we have to learn a way to... Um, there's nothing wrong with doing things correctly and right in a certain way. But when it when we overstep that line where it becomes stressful, where things are so perfect that um, you feel uncomfortable with the perfection, but you can't stop it. That's when we have to force ourselves to stop, to say to ourselves, this is it. This this is good enough. That's not necessarily an easy task, but something that's very necessary if you are going to heal your body, your mind, thinking outside the box that you have created around yourself. Some of you, there is a different issue that is coming out. This issue is related to the trauma in your life. You've had some very heavy trauma. This card, Black, talks about find richness from the dark night. We need to look at patterns, lessons, things that we learned from a particularly bad time in our life. And we need to release the rest. When I say release, you will never forget what has happened to you. Anything that is traumatic, especially if you suffer from PTSD, this will come back out again. But one thing that you can do is not allow yourself for this uh, feeling, this memory, this thought to spiral out of control. How to do that? And that is not an easy thing either, but it can be achieved. When we have a thought come into our mind, mind and we focus on that thought initially it's there we can even give it some attention but then that's the trick not to give it more than the necessary attention we become so wrapped up in this trauma that it's with us every single day every second of the day even and we feel the pain again we want to tell others about it we want to just uh, free ourselves but we're not allowing our mind to free itself from it the best thing to do is to do something that will help you have some fun we had the cards lighten up rejoice doing something that will distract you from this thought is highly important and not allowing it to spiral out of control where you put all your focus on it and you relive and you go through and you stir up 
that's when you slowly start moving on because I um, have seen many examples of people who could not let go of this and some of them now in their 80s they they're still worried about something that happened to them in their childhood and it's not that things haven't been healing it's just sometimes a matter of we keep that thought a life through our way of thinking, thinking outside the box, using our ability to create things, positive things in our life, creative projects, rejoicing comes back in here. I hope that this will be helpful for some because I do not want to downplay the severity of what some of you have gone through. But I also know it's very unhealthy to keep it there, to keep it constantly, bring it, even bringing it back into your mind. So let's see what else Spirit wants to talk to you about here. One way that you can gain strength is by strengthening your own faith believing in spirit we might have worries about our future we might be thinking oh my goodness you know how am i going to survive where am i going to live what's going to happen but when we have done everything possible at this particular time in our life we then need to allow spirit to bring in something new to give us an indication as to our next action and we need to learn to trust spirit because trusting spirit is the key to finding new opportunities, success. If we don't trust or we don't take action towards our goals, we are going to be stuck. We're going to be in the same environment, in the same feeling. We are not going to move forwards. So this is where faith comes in. Let's see, what else is there to help you? Yes, you are meant to create a very balanced life around yourself. You're meant to have joy, you're meant to have freedom, you're meant to have space in your life, but you're also meant to be very creative, to interact with spirit because you have that gift to know the answers within, to listen to those intuitive feelings and the information that is given to you by the universe, which will lead you into the next opportunity. And that is what this group is all about. This is basically knowing where to go. A lot of self-confidence, which is also lacking here, but by regaining this confidence through certain actions, this will then align your life again. And coming back, this is also coming back to health issues. Some of you are very good at clearing some of these issues that you are facing this is talking about learning to scan your body scanning your body means that you can simply focus on areas of your body that might show signs of being unwell that doesn't mean that you particularly have pain or issues already there in your body it just means that you are going through your body, you're sensing areas, and this is often done in Reiki healing, and you feel that there is some stuck energy. Uh, try this. When, you, when you're alone and you put some meditation music on, you run your hand over your body and sort of stop at the area where I feel there's a little bit of something is stuck here. Maybe I have to really clear my throat chakra after this reading. But you feel something is stuck at a certain place in your body. Then you send light into it. Light, you send love to that area. And then you move on. Next time you run your hand over it, this might flow a lot easier. And you find where you felt energy that was stuck in your body all of a sudden it doesn't feel like that this is a good practice something that might actually amaze you that you have this ability that you protect yourself with light visualize light flowing through your body out of your palms and scan your body 
and you will find that um, some of you actually will be very very good at this you will just pick it up for those that where you don't sense this blocked uh, energy that is sitting there keep trying calm your mind focus on things you have a an ability this group that not everybody has got but you got it and with your hearing understanding spirit and scanning your body learning about reiki energy perhaps can be very helpful so let's learn a little bit more i still feel more cards here for you nourish your body one thing also to look at is your diet what are we putting into our bodies that is affecting us negatively everybody reacts different to certain types of food and we need to understand what foods are not good for us another way to learn to scan the foods that are not good apart from obviously knowing that certain foods are really not good lots of artificial colors and sugars and and flavors and all of that we already know that but when you're unsure about a food that is not good for your body why not test this out in front of you put a variety of different foods and including the one that you're a little bit worried about whether you should eat it or not and then see how your hand flows over these foods if it gets stuck on one if it feels like this is heavy or i can't move forwards remove that food and put it aside and do it again up until you find the foods that are sitting there are ones that will be good for your body keep practicing this this is something that you can do you can learn to work with energy listen to your guides and clear health issues perhaps that have been sitting there for a very long time never forget that it's time to lighten the load to lighten up this is one of the key factors in reaching your goals if you keep burdening yourself more and more nothing will change in your life but lightening up looking at things outside this box that is where your joy will come in that is where you will attract success and spirit is in agreement with that now i don't feel any more cards for this group this doesn't finish our session here today we want to now receive a message from a fairy the fairy always comes in through a golden door let's open this door together let's see what lies behind um, okay this has a lot to do with food the fairies have noticed that you are to go through this is not for all some of you are very good at this but there is a large um, portion of you here that have a lot of negative foods tempting they're saying tempting foods in your cupboards in your refrigerators in your freezers here you are to go through them you are to be brutally honest with yourself as to what doesn't serve you and you're not even supposed to keep them in your house because they be represent a temptation here and this temptation needs to be taken away even if you think it's all right they're saying limit the amount of a negative or maybe even toxic food that you have in the house and introduce new foods try different things things that you have maybe overlooked and thought no nah, i don't think i like it but you've never tried it things that are good for you try that for some of you certain um, seeds are coming out obviously not everybody can eat um, seeds and um, nuts but for some roasted pine nuts pumpkin seeds i don't know why this is coming in let me know in the comments for some of you they might be um, treats that you can use instead of perhaps um, 
uh, greasy foods that we usually crave or sugary foods that we crave. Look, there's nothing wrong with a treat, but we need to limit it so that our bodies can function properly because our body-mind-soul connection here is really important. And the more we bombard our bodies with negative foods, the less we connect with spirit, the less strong the connection becomes. So keep that in mind plenty of water which i have to talk to myself about that as well so plenty of water too this is what the fairies are recommending for this group because um, some of you and you really have to let me know because as soon as i wanted to close the door i had this this vision this flash came in some of you are allergic to certain chemicals in your home washing powders for example maybe dishwashing liquids but it's mainly washing powder that i'm seeing here so check out if you get um, allergies like skin rashes, eczema, dermatitis, any of that, look into the, the washing powders, the chemicals that you are using. The fairies are literally blowing you a kiss here and saying good health to you and we will see you in the future. That means that some of you are connected to fairies, elementals, and can work with them. I won't go into that too deeply in this video because now we want to tap into a herb here for you. The herb that comes out is allspice. Allspice is all about um, good luck, money, health, and in your case, let me tap in and see how they want you to use it. Let's see what my guides direct me to. Okay, they want you, obviously this is to do with cooking and using allspice in your dishes is important. But not just allspice, which allspice is a very particular thing that you obviously only use for certain dishes, but they're saying you are to bless it when you put it in your food and when you work with anything at all like for example allspice which has various different meanings attached to it and uh, you need to my daughter is very good at this when she does spell work you need to isolate the properties that you want to work with so when you're using allspice focus your intention for example on promoting health others might be look uh, thinking I need to uh, I need luck I need something good to come into my life here something is happening next week and I need something to really work work for me so you're going to pull in the um, the intention to use allspice as good luck and then you will have some dishes during the week that has allspice in it some of you might want to use it for money this is how you intensify the properties of a herb or anything you use for divination you take the part that links to your intention and you put the others aside. I mean, you can use it as a collective energy, but then it's not as powerful as if you use one of the properties and you set the intention, you hold the allspice in your hand and you basically channel light into it with the intention of how you would like to use it try this for all those that um, are keen to try out some of this energy work here this can be very powerful you got to really attach yourself to it you got to feel it you got to have trust faith and belief because it's more powerful that way Next, we're going to tap into a chakra for you. In this group, it is the crown chakra. What we want to do is we want to focus our attention on our crown chakra. This group, as a collective, you will have a 
stuck energy point in there and I'm going to look into this chakra which looks like a portal to me and I'll see what spirit gives me and then we can release this let's tap into that visualize a spiral and you can travel into that a portal here that we are traveling through and this is your crown chakra you might see other things doing this try this in meditation it can be very powerful for those who are linked to this ability let's see what i can see here this is um a child this is childhood issues for some this is a mother for others this is a grandmother and I'm seeing maybe it's a great grandmother for others but it's female energy here and this female has hurt you there could have been um, health issues maybe you had a bipolar mother or grandmother or a narcissistic toxic energy because what I'm seeing is that at times there were really good times where you connected with this woman whoever she is in your life and then at other times it's like she lost it she just became violent abusive either um, emotionally or physically and you you were so confused you you didn't know what was going on and you are still mourning that you are still feeling that what I would like you to do because it's sitting in your crown chakra everybody will see this a little bit different and because you have different situations what you are to do is visualize a situation without really reliving it and wrap that situation up in white light see that a hand a light hand from one of your guides from God if you like Christ energy whoever you connect with you see this hand reaching into your crown chakra and pulling out this bubble of light that contains that pain that image and you can revisit this as many times as you need to because you might have a lot of different situations that have happened that are all anchored in your crown chakra energy work can clear and help you to move ahead with success and strengthen your own ability to to have this confidence now to speak up and to walk tall and to understand your path do this as often as you are drawn to it because it is a clearing that can make such big differences that sometimes we underestimate the power of energy work let's travel on a little bit further here we want to look at a symbol for this group let me see the symbol actually that came in for you is um the abundance symbol so this reiki symbol is not actually used for anything else other than bringing in abundance abundance takes various forms it doesn't always mean money abundance can show up in for example being very healthy having a clear mind an abundant way of living your life is specific to your own situation but the symbol abundance and i know a lot will relate to to money here because there is there is obviously a great link to that but it doesn't have to be let me see how you you are okay this group is really easy i was just going to ask my guides how you are to use this but they're saying to me here that it's your choice you can draw the symbol wherever it really needs to go whatever form of abundance you need to have so play with this symbol use it draw it visualize it and place it into areas in your life where you wish to see a more abundance way of living and existing let's now go to our past life 
let's tap into this. Let's walk along a pathway here and we're going to discover your past life that you are stuck in and we're going to find a way to release that. Let's see, there's a door. Let's open this door together. Okay, the sixth key will open this door. Before we walk in, as I always say, protect your energy field when you release this life or do any type of energy work. Protect it with layers of light. Invite in your spiritual team of light. Ground your energy. Connect to Mother Earth. Let's see what this life is all about here. You were stolen from um, the hospital. You were a, um, your mum wanted you desperately and she did a lot to be able to fall pregnant and have you here. Both your parents were very, very loving and um, were overjoyed to have you but you were born into a family that had a lot of negative connections relatives because your mum and dad were never supposed to be together they came from different backgrounds some of these backgrounds also were very toxic here very negative um Reminds me of, actually reminds me of the Mafia family. This is what it looks like, but obviously it depends on your situation. It just seems to be a lot of, a lot of stealing, a lot of, oh God, lots of murders here. There's terrible stuff that happened and your families are connected to this energy. The family found you. And they wanted to teach both your mum and dad a lesson and they stole you. You grew up in a very toxic environment, violence, um, um, any criminal activity really you were involved in because you were trained this way. Your mum and dad were devastated. They looked for you, for you for many, many years. They never had any other children here. And you were meant to be the break in all this corruption. You were the one born of pure heart from mum leaving her family, dad leaving his family. And you were formed with a pure heart, which was destroyed by your ancestors. So there's a lots of ancestor um, issues coming out here. Let's undo this. I'm going to ask my guides how they want you to undo this. They, they're saying to me that you are to see that even in the womb, you were already powerful and you were already working with energy and light. You were already sheltering your parents, protecting them with light. And when you were born, they were safe and you were safe. Nobody found you. They are also saying that you are to see the corrupt part of the family here uh, to be brought to justice. However you see that, that is perfectly fine. You are to meditate on this and you are to see that you grow up in um, a very happy family that maybe you become an energy healer and you help many people recover from terrible traumas like you have faced in this past life and perhaps in your current life. Whatever you see, make it a happy story. Get rid of the negative energy here. Bring them to justice. After you've finished seeing that, you're going to go back. You're going to close the door. You're going to see a red ray of light washing over that life. And you're going to breathe this light into your body. You're going to thank your spirit guides for this healing, releasing them from it. Now you are ready to explore life, to see what changes in your life. Yes, you can revisit some of these lives. This is one that you can revisit. You can add to your story, but you can't alter your story. Because you're tapping into your Akashic records here, you are creating a new energy field. 
our Akashic records, even though we sometimes think that they are um, volumes of books and that's sometimes even how I try to explain it, but they're not really. They are timelines, they're energy, they float around you, they affect you, they're in your energy field and through your visualization, through the intention that you set to alter the structures that are affecting you currently and then visualizing that, the more powerfully you you can do this the better it is this works I have changed my my life with this type of work and others as well but I know you can do this for yourselves you might just need a little bit of a helping hand to identify what lives you're stuck in and this is one of them group number three I wish you all the best and send you lots of love from Australia Bye. Welcome group number four, innovative thinking, thinking outside the box. What does that mean for you? Okay, you have a, an incredible connection to the divine. Even though this card mentions that this connection needs to be strengthened, but I don't feel that. I feel that this particular group, yeah, there's something special about your connection with the divine. So let's see how this unfolds into thinking outside the box for you. First of all, you with this connection that you have, sometimes it's really difficult to um, to feel it, to obtain it, I guess, and to connect on a level that you really want to connect. What is blocking you is um, is actually very simple. It's a practice of grounding. A lot of people who are not grounded find that their connection to spirit is weakened. And you've already got a really, really strong one, but you might not feel it. So I would suggest for you guys to start thinking outside the box, innovative thinking, where you develop your own methods of connecting to Mother Earth grounding your energy. To ground your energy is a simple practice of seeing tree roots growing from your legs and your feet deep down into Mother Gaia. This connection it needs to be very very strong but you are to think outside the box. You are to develop your own way of connecting. So how else can you connect to Mother Earth? Maybe some of you have some suggestions that you would like to share here with the collective that this group could benefit from. Some practices are very in-depth. For example, you can also visualize that you're diving deep down into Mother Earth as if the Earth is a swimming pool and you can easily dive into it and you can connect to underground crystals that have never been found, to streams of water, to medicinal herbs and roots and you can even visit places underneath the Earth here. Share with us how you connect, what you have found, if you are even familiar with the practice of grounding, because grounding can open a deeper connection to the divine. And if that's missing in your life, let's say that you're very busy at work and you don't get to go outside a lot and you don't... Um, get to walk perhaps barefoot on the earth here to really connect with Mother Earth, then you need to develop um, visualization techniques that will compensate for grounding. And whatever you can share, that would be much appreciated. So you are a very special group. I knew this right from the start here. 
there is something that might be affected here with you because you're so connected you are highly sensitive to energy this could possibly be affecting your nervous system as well so some of you might be more anxious than what you need to be this practice of grounding can help you with this anxiety you feel more at peace when you're connected with mother earth once you feel more at peace this will then help you to connect to higher sources here you are you are really incredible the way that you are attracting this light there's obviously something special about you guys you might be special um, star seeds you might have come here with a special mission and um, some of you might be very stuck here on this planet not knowing how to reach your goals well grounding is has come out as as being so important and i know this to be true because my daughter is like this if she doesn't ground her energy she can easily feel anxious she can lose connection that she normally has quite easily so grounding for her her is the most important practice and you guys are the same attract abundance but your abundance is spiritual of course that can also be translating into uh, physical abundance here but on um, on an energetic level what i'm sensing is that you are very rich in your connections to spirit you have to uh, perhaps monitor how you connect and how you interpret that connection but there is something very special about this group if you've shut yourself off which often happens to us when we feel that we're being bombarded by energy that we just can't cope with so we might go into hermit mode we might not allow people to come into our lives but you are to also open up to love again opening up to love is something very important for this group which will mean that you might have to think differently about um, new friendships that you need to form because we can be so determined to keep our energy clean and due to trauma perhaps in our life we want to isolate but the universe is saying you've got to come out of that isolation think outside the box just because you've been hurt in the past maybe for many years doesn't mean that this pattern will continue because you're now healed you might have worked on yourself a lot where you have changed things in your life where you have healed yourself emotionally mentally physically energetically and your soul is ready to experience greater connections so if you are still afraid and you're thinking i'm not connecting with other people i'm trying to keep them all at a distance that is no longer necessary you are to open yourself up to love which then in turn opens you up here to the divine connection which you you already have a very very strong connection there anyway but it will ev improve even further here the the key for this group is to create a balanced life that means not just a balanced physical life it also means emotional spiritually so creating this balanced life will bring you into higher dimensions you are more of the spiritual group that may be stuck because you might just be missing the simple practice here like we've said of grounding do not underestimate simple steps to reach your goals and this is what spirit wants you to really think about because of having this special purpose here 
you will soon over the next um, probably couple of years here you will learn to inhale the breath of life that means through your perhaps uh, different way of thinking creative thinking here you will learn to open up new connections both with spirit and in the your current reality here because this is all leading to a balanced life here don't forget to be spontaneous and have fun because this kind of energy will also lead you into better connection with spirit unblocking things yes free yourself from pain any kind of pain that is left in your life needs to be addressed you will definitely go through various awakenings they will start when you really pay attention to your life when you really start changing things that's when the awakenings will come in even stronger your connections will deepen i don't even know where you guys are gonna go some of you this is just such a strong energy i feel very very grateful to be able to read for this group because there's some powerful energy here listening to that connect and once again this is coming in as far as nature is concerned 44 is important to you guys i have seen 44 everywhere today so this is just another one coming in um, there is definitely stability coming into your life rainbow connect to fairies in nature everything is calling to you particularly the energy of nature grounding elementals fairies so you have incredible powers you guys you need to think of yourself that way because they're talking about excess innovative thinking here and if we don't believe this about ourselves if we continuously put ourselves down and feel that we're not good enough it will never fully open up but you are good enough you have this connection and at one stage in your life this will open up but remember you can speed this up and that's that's what spirit wants to talk to you about just speeding the process up take action now and look at that nature again so much green energy absorb the green from nature because it can be a healing for you it can be a help in your life here and what did i say about you being extraordinary live an extraordinary life there's something special about you you all have different paths to walk but they all lead to something very special here awaken your passion yes so they're talking to you now about needing to awaken this obviously that means uh, different things for everybody we all live different lives we all have different goals and whatever field you want to go into whatever creative project you want to participate in or awaken for yourself this is where you have to take action you have to find your passion open it up further align yourself for your connection and maybe even strengthening your body can be part of it because we were talking about balance and balance doesn't just involve one area in our life we have looked at different areas here and mentioned them every area of life needs to be balanced it doesn't have to be perfect balance but it needs to be addressed and we need to be aware of it our awareness alone placed on a certain area will then lead most of us to motivation and that results in action this is what your guides are talking about this is where you need to look at your life see what you can be grateful for what you can change what you need to leave there are so many of you here but you are special group number four 
it's talking a lot about your body regenerate your body so for some of you really look at your body maybe we need to start an exercise program or the way you're eating what you're eating even when i said the way you're eating that's very important we often talk about foods that are not good for us and a certain diet that would benefit us but it's also the way that we eat that can make a difference. If you get a plate full of um, good food and you sit down and you just shovel it in, however it gets in there, as long as you eat it fast, that's not so good for your body. Even though you're putting good food into your body, but you're not allowing your body to enjoy it, to digest it properly. It is better to eat slower. And it is also better not to eat perhaps in front of the television and to be distracted it is much better for your digestive system to enjoy the meal because that is the best way for your body to absorb and digest the food here having said that let's see i can't feel any more cards for you but what we want to do next is get a message from a fairy let's tap into that let's see usually a golden door appears in front of me let's go through this golden door together and see what is happening oh okay this message is not for all so whoever here resonates with this message congratulations because you will be starting a family there's a child here i can see a newborn baby coming into your family and the fairies are so excited some of you have waited a long time to start a family and you're finally here you're finally ready to start a family if you're thinking of starting a family and you found this video by all means it is time you are ready to start a family the fairies also don't want to leave out um, those that don't resonate with that the um the creation is coming in again creative projects creation of something great some of you are truly gifted and you are to tap into these gifts whether this is oh there's so much i can see painting sculpting baking i can see these beautiful cakes here i can see what looks like tapestry um, I can see so many different things they seem to be just rushing in front of my eye so if I've left some out here and you're not part of it even uh, poetry, uh, poetry and writing um, there's lots of books here floating around there's even some cards some oracle cards or tarot cards so there is so much if you are not um, being creative start this again because the fairies are saying this is your connection this is this your connection to the divine comes also through your creativity here we stimulate the same part of our brain when we are creative as we do when we connect with spirit and interact with our guides with the divine here so through your creativity you're actually opening up portals and the fairies want to support this we're going to thank the fairies for their interaction here with us for the messages and they hope that this will bring some joy to to some families out there because they have noticed that there are quite a few of you that have been longing to either have another child or also uh, to build this beautiful happy family and that is happening there's very good energy for this group coming in in regards to that let's thank the fairies we're going to close this door again now we're going to look into a herb for this group the herb that you are to work with is mullen mullen can be used for protection divination for love 
it is also great to use to bring in courage and um, in some cases it is used for exorcisms so let's look at what spirit tells me in regards to you group number four how do we use this particular herb mullen okay mullen is to be placed in one corner of the room I can see that mullen is either sitting in a bowl there or um, it's even um, it looks like it's hanging up somewhere I can see some somebody is hanging something up from what looks like um, the edge of a window or in the corner of the room there and what mullen can be used for is to uh, which, which is very unique here for you guys it's all to do with protection and they're still communicating with me it's really hard to focus here because it seems quite interesting the way they use it they're saying that you are to set an intention when you use mullen this is to do with protection and when you're hanging it up or you're putting it out in the corner of a room it is for the purpose of whoever enters this room to draw out any negative influences that they might bring into your home and even influences that you might have picked up for example if you've been out shopping and you've been interacting with a lot of people or you come home from work and you've had a particularly bad day you might even have had people surrounding you that had a lot of entities on them and sometimes we can dirty our energy a little bit well having mullen there it is to draw all that out you can also place a black tourmaline crystal in the middle of this bowl or maybe this bag that you're hanging up and you are to leave it there no longer than four weeks and then you need to replenish it so try this get yourself a bowl place that crystal black tourmaline in the center put mullen around it and then place the bowl in a corner hang it near your front door or sit it near the back door or both put it put it wherever you like make a few bowls and when you get somebody visiting or maybe you have a lot of people in the home that's the intention of just clearing energy just drawing anything out that doesn't serve you at the end of four weeks and some of you might want to do it earlier but they're saying to me don't leave it any longer because like I said if you don't get any people visiting it's still good for you and anybody who lives there with you and then you can put the mullen back into your garden or wherever you want to sprinkle it let the elements clear it let mother earth absorb it all and you make up your new bowl you can keep the black tourmaline you can cleanse the crystal you can smudge the crystal and do some research on cleansing crystals you can wash it in some salt water you can place certain crystals in sunlight please always check usually the darker crystals are a little bit more sensitive you don't want to leave them out in the sun for too long you can infuse energy you can use the violet fire to infuse more energy into the crystal there is so much that you can do but for the sake of this reading i don't want to go into it too deep so you know what to do with mullen and we want to move on now like I said to you, we're going to look into a lot of different areas today. And the next thing we want to look into is a chakra. The chakra for group number four is your galactic chakra your connection to the universe here. So your galactic chakra 
I see it as a portal. It's up above your head. Check out the diagram I have listed here so you understand where that chakra is. And now we want to travel into it. Let's set the intention together to travel through that portal and find out what's happening here with you group number four let's travel together and let's see what i can see there what it looks like to me here is the front of the chakra is clear and looks really good but the back of the chakra doesn't there's a lot of negative darker energy in there and there's telling me how this translates into your life and what blocks this chakra for some of you please only take away what resonates with you is that you need to have a cleanup you have old possessions perhaps old photos that you have stored away there's boxes there there are things in closets in cupboards that you need to take out and you need to discard you need to burn what you can burn and some of this is um, linked to very toxic energy so people that have been in your life that have hurt you harmed you and they are blocking your galactic chakra and it's kept alive through some of your possessions and for some of you this is a fairly small item sometimes we think that keeping for example wedding rings engagement rings they carry a certain energy and can keep us locked in and we could be quite innocent innocently thinking well that's it you know i'm not married anymore you i'm now free from this energy but if you keep the ring if you have it particularly in your uh, bedside table there and you sleep right next to it you're going to be influenced and this is where you need to dig deep it could be a simple item like a scarf that somebody gave you and this has uh, carries a lot of negative energy maybe memories some items that you pick up and that you think well I don't really want to think anymore about this particular item but instead of throwing it out or um, perhaps giving it away because it only carries the negative energy for you if we put it in the back of the closet and that's what's blocking this chakra check everything even check um, anything you store on your phone in your computer have a cleanup i'm feeling this strong energy about getting rid of all of that because you are a special group and this is something to think about the next thing we want to go to is a color for this group to work with the color you are to work with is yellow you are to bring in yellow all around you when you place an energy field around you a protection bubble for the next two weeks make the color yellow if you have a yellow shirt a yellow scarf a yellow um, pair of shoes um, a skirt pants whatever it is wear yellow in the next two weeks and it will benefit your body your mind and soul greatly really work with that color the next thing we're going to look into is our physical body i often focus on energy on anything that might be needing to be cleared away from you but my guides have come in and said look harry include body issues include the physical body one area that this group needs to give a lot of attention to and perhaps send this yellow light into is your digestive system particularly your colon so over the next two weeks 
do things that can help your digestive system focus on that you might decide i'm going to buy something a herbal supplement that can help me you might decide i'm going to work with energy you might take a crystal and place a crystal over your colon with the intention of drawing in good energy from the crystal you can even do that with a stone if you walk along the beach and you see a stone particularly one that has been washed by the ocean pick it up work with nature place it on your colon and visualize the energy of it flowing into any area of concern there as well as perhaps taking out negative energy i did this this morning when i went for my beach walk i picked up one small stone to draw out negativity and placed it back in the ocean i picked up a larger stone to take in positive energy healing energy this is something that we have lost over time that we don't think it to be important to work with energy like this we are encouraged perhaps to always run to the doctor and look i'm not i'm not saying don't see your doctor if you need a a medical intervention by all means you always have to put that first but i am a great believer in that we can prevent a lot of things from happening if we work with energy like that and in this group your digestive system needs attention whatever you do will greatly benefit it even if you think no i'm okay nothing is wrong there well you found this group and this has been brought out so maybe if you work on this now nothing will ever happen to your digestive system or it might even improve even further let's move on i said to you guys that we are going to explore a lot of things here so our next thing to look into is a symbol for you the symbol om has come out om can be chanted it is a very very powerful energy let me tap in and see how you are to use the sound and the symbol om okay this particular group they're saying to me that you are to get yourself very familiar with what om actually means once you understand it and i have listed that here as well for you you are to use your intuition and work with om the way that you feel is right for you no suggestion is being made because they're saying it is something that will help you use your own intuition to find answers so work with ohm and perhaps let me know how you've worked with it that was effective for you to finish off we are going to look into a past life here in fact it actually doesn't finish it today because at the very end of our session we're also going to get a message from a crystal let's look into the past life first to release yourself from this past life we're going to tap into it and then we're going to alter the structure i would suggest that you do this in private meditation everything i suggest in these videos can be done privately when you feel that you've created a sacred space around you and protected your energy let's see let's show let's see what this life is all about let us travel together there's a door and the 10th key will open this door let's check out what has happened to you there you were a um, young child i see both female and male so depending on your life here but you were uh, very shy 
your family was very different to you. They were really loud and outgoing and enjoyed interacting with others and you even got invited out a lot but you would never go. You'd always sit back and you feel very, very shy. You were very afraid. You did not want to go out because you felt embarrassed. You felt like people were judging you and you actually had those feelings from other past lives. But this life is important because in this life, the universe gave you a really good start. Your parents were nice. Your family was nice. And and you had friends that wanted you to come out, but you found every excuse you could come up with not to go. And this got worse and worse. And when you were older, you found yourself alone a lot. You actually didn't mind, but deep inside, you there was a part of you that wanted to experience this sort of life and you wanted to have fun we even saw that in the cards that you needed to have fun now we need to alter this because you were meant to free yourself in that lifetime because you had these really good surroundings but you didn't do it you couldn't get there now in visualization you can go back feel this life feel as if you um, want to go you might be a little bit shy to begin with but overcome that see yourself enjoying life and revisit this life as often as you like enjoy more things that you want to enjoy perhaps in this life and you are very shy to do that this is where you can change your way of thinking and thinking outside the box getting new perhaps creative ideas that you can invite any somebody else to or all your family to this is what the universe your guides want you to get to in that life and perhaps in your current life as well once you feel that you have achieved this happiness and you feel that life is now fulfilled you simply walk back to that door you shut the door and a red ray of light washes over that and into your root chakra you are now ready to maybe embrace life a little bit more like i said revisit if you feel drawn to it now to finish off our session, we have serpentine here. Crystals give me information. They simply talk to me. I get visions. I hear things when I tap into their energy. And this is what I wanted to do for this group. You can also look up the properties of serpentine to see how it fits into your life. Maybe even work with this crystal. But for me, it's the messages that count. Let me tap in. Somebody very nurturing is coming into your life at one stage there is an energy that looks like a grandmother a very nurturing soul that is coming in all of you every single one of you here i don't know how that's going to work but that's what they're showing me is going to have this person because you need this person they don't have to be a grandmother but the energy is represented in that way because they are very loving they're hugging you they're full of life they also look like a larger person maybe it describes their energy here but you will get this person and they will make a difference in your life they will help you overcome difficulties believe in yourself they may just stay for a short while here but they will have a great impact in your life and the crystal wants to let you know that you can expect that if you haven't had this already this will happen at one stage in your life Group number four, I hope you enjoyed this session here. It was a bit more lengthy 
than our other sessions and I want to include that in the future to give you as much healing energy as I possibly can. I'm sending you lots of love from Australia. Bye. Thank you.